Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Funky Steve's Medinas. So after the disaster that was that last episode where our Jager mech lost a whole side and is now out of action and so is Steve, uh, we were able to get another mission pulled off. We made some sea bills, which was nice. We were able to effect some repairs. I was also able to start uh, improved automation, uh, which will give us plus two tech points. It'll really help with uh, repairing our mech, which seems to be needing a lot of repairs a lot of the time. Uh, but right now we have a lance of four medium mechs. So let's have a look here And we do have four pilots. So we've got two hunchbacks uh, We've got the um, MM, uh, MRM hunchback We've got the double PPC medium laser hunchback. We got our crab and our centurion Wolverine I haven't started working on yet I'm gonna wait till the Jager mech is back and then we'll figure out what we're gonna do with these two mechs uh, But that hasn't been touched yet, but we're gonna be working on that sooner or later so it's up it's ready to go we just need to start working on it so today we thought we'd take a legit contract something a little i don't want to say it's a little easier it's an escort mission it could turn out to be nasty might not be um but we can get five of 21 salvage which is which we really need we, we're gonna, we need things like endo steel stuff like that so we're going to be looking for that kind of thing today but uh, we're going to head off down to the surface and take that mission so i'll see you guys down on the planet all right, here we go. So uh, we put Hellcat in the, the PPC Hunchback and Rocky is now in, she's running the crab. So it looks like we've got our guys under fire here. We know this map fairly well. It's, you know, activate the guys here, move up the road and um, get them to this point here. Now we can get, there's the main lance that starts off here that fights us. Second lance will appear behind this hill here if there is one and then the third one drops in up over here so we know where we need to be for this map so let's just start off by moving in let's get rocky all the way up into the forest here see what we're up against so we got three is it three or four well it's only three in their vehicles okay so not bad not bad i thought we were going to be up against worse here well, I say worse until we're until they're like Saladins and they're blowing up our mechs, so or demolishers or some crap like that. But they don't look to be big enough for that. Yes, Commander. Uh, let's just sprint up. Got it. Not quite as fast as we used to be, but that's okay. Oh, fire truck, nice. Uh, I don't even know what he was shooting. Haywire. Okay. How much armor does this guy have? Nothing, really. Oh, we do have an extra guy. Okay. If I had to guess, I would say a cicada Commander. with those two periphery guns. If I had to guess, it could be an ultra, but it's unlikely. At that range, usually they fire slower than that. So let's fire everything on this guy. So I really love this hunchback build. I mean, it's heat neutral at best of times, but even on a cold biome, there's gonna be no heat generation on this thing at all. Uh, of course, if you can't hit anything, it doesn't mean anything. <laughs> yeah, I saw that, I saw that you missed. You have the best gunnery out of everybody and you missed. He's only got four chevrons of evasion, man. You gotta hit more often. Uh, open or not? Forty-six percent, really? Thirty-nine. He's going on twelve. We'll have a good chance to kill him. So let's move. Just move into the open. We're gonna move in a little slower. on. Ah, not bad. Okay, Rocky, let's get in here. You are going to be in the forest. We got to get their eyes off of us. Come on, you should be able to kill this guy now. What? Blow up, blow up. Yeah, but he's not dead, dude. Dudes. Three points left. Really? Really? Uh, 
Uh, I don't know why I'm turning that off. Oh yeah, by the way, between episodes, I put in that triple plus medium laser we picked up a few episodes back on this guy here. Um, this, you know, gives a better chance to hit. It's, the uh, MRMs have been having a hard time, so at least the medium laser has a chance to hit. I'm gonna fire everything just because we've been having a hard time. That should be it. There we go. Nice. One more for the, trash heap. the bad thing about the MRMs is you can't use uh, Artemis or anything. Oh shit! What did I say about the Saladins? Oh, it's a Hetzer. Yeah, just as bad. It's got more armor. Standing by. Good thing it's not a Hetzer in real life, because uh, those things with the sloped armor were deadly. All right. They're perfect ambush vehicles. World War II. Check it out. All right, fire and everything. Well, at least we hit that time. Should be able to take them out next turn. That 75 hit was nasty, though. That was a leg hit, too. You ever need a reason to max out your armor? That's it right there, the AC-20. I find it's very rare that the AC-20 lands a hit, usually from the enemies, but when it does, it's always at the worst time and it's in a devastating way. Alright, Rock, let's get over here. Finish up this Hetzer for me if you can, please. There we go, that should do it, I think. Yeah, that does it. Nice. Okay, Saint. Let's push this next vehicle. Well, at least we'll be able to see what the mech is, so let's do... Is there a way we can get better eyes on? I guess not, eh? It's gonna have to be this way. Okay. You still got full armor, so what do we got here? Bulldog. Ah, respectable armor. And, oh, it's a blackjack with two AC2s. Okay. Let's fire on the bulldog, though. Let's attempt to fire on the bulldog. Um, Commander? Hellcat. That's pretty darn good chances to hit here. And fire everything. So I've kind of made up my mind. I think what's going to happen... Oh, that guy's gone. Um, I've made up my mind. Uh, once the uh, Jagermech backs, the Centurion is going to get pulled out of action. Uh, what I might do is try and adjust his loadout slightly. Uh, I don't want to be in the open for this. Uh, I'm going to adjust the loadout slightly. I think I might pull the MRMs off of this Hunchback, change the loadout on this Hunchback, and make the Centurion a missile boat. We have the Thunderbolt 20s. The other way to do it, too, would be to split them up. Put a Thunderbolt 20 in the Hunchback and a Thunderbolt 20 in the Centurion. Well, I want to see if there's a way I can put the two Thunderbolt 20s in the Centurion. I don't think so. It's 24 tons. You'd be moving really slow. But the thing is, is you wouldn't have to move fast. Because if I get him, use it as an artillery mech, he can just stand way back and just pummel people with that thing. I'm receiving you. Okay, Hellcat's usually got the best chances to hit, so let's move her up first. See if we can get started on this guy. I mean, I wish I had missile points on the uh, Jager mech, then we could turn that into the, uh, into the um, missile mech. I just don't think, I like the MRMs because of the damage, but like the 33% chance to hit is like, it's killing us. Okay, there goes that side. Think I hit something good. Unsteady. Orders. I mean, we could put the Ultra AC-5 into the uh, Jaeger mech too. Once we pull this guy out of service. Firing full complement on enemy. 
Maybe we turn this guy into an SRM boat. I don't know. I think I hit something good. Yes, Commander. Let's finish this up. All right, everything on this guy. He's going down. If he's still alive at the end of this, that is. All right, see what happens. I love the creaky sounds now that they have, they've added the. Nice little sound effect. Ah, uh, kudos to you, buddy. You got balls for moving in. If you had hit something, I would say even better, but... Damn. Okay, Rocky. Uh, since you got move and shoot, let's move you. Let's do you first. There we go. I keep forgetting to call it Ace Pilot, but uh, I should be. It's really what it is. Okay, let's move up in here. She's the one that's going to activate everything. Actually, you know what? I think not. I think what I'll do is I'm going to get um, Rhino to activate. Simply because she's got the uh, long-range missiles. She doesn't need to be close, whereas... Um, Rocky and the crab does. So let's just put her here for a second. Got to turn to cool off. Show them what you got. Show them what you got. Okay, you're gonna go there. Receiving you. You're gonna go way up here. Going full throttle. Standing by. And you're going to go here. Uh, I think we did that last time and it didn't count. Well, let's do this. It might count as being inside. There was a couple times where I was inside the hex and it didn't count as being inside the hex, so I don't know what is going on. Let's get the heavy guns up front. Nope, it did. Okay. Okay, so we do have more contacts. Man, we got 5 of 17 salvage and we're getting his vehicles and stuff. Good to go. See if we can get some eyes on. Okay. There's only three though this time. Oh, there's a mech there too. Okay. What do we got? Saladin. See? That's why you gotta get up ahead and find out what the hell's going on here. Nice. One less AC 20. Oh, it's AC 20 plus. Nice. You bet. Waiting for orders. Uh, we're gonna reserve. And reserve again. Waiting for the right to move. We're gonna take a negative on the next turn, but I'm okay with that. We want to get our allies moving. Where are you going? Uh, wasp, really? Well, let's move up and hopefully these vehicles move up too. Come on, guys. Where are you going? What are they doing? I'm receiving you. Not worried about the wasp. Gonna move into the open just so we have a better chance to hit. Firing on the wasp. Man, those weapon mounts really making a big difference with those PPCs, even though I missed everything. Negative damage. Like the chances to hit are great. Negative damage. Commander. Let's just walk it up here. Let's hope our allies move with us. Where are they going? Finally, somebody's moving.
It's not like, you know... It's not like we're not escorting them or anything. Ready for orders. See if we can get some more shots in the wasp. Maybe land something on this guy. Fire. Oh, finally a hit. Nice. A few more hits, too. Critical hit, Commander. Finally. Keep moving, guys. Come on. Lazy asses. They've still got to land a shot yet, either. Where are you going? Come on up on that hill, Bubba. There you go. Okay, what do we got here? Light rifle, two machine guns, and pretty much no armor. Uh, I'm not even going to move you. You're just going to stand here and shoot this guy. Okay, medium laser hit. Come on. Dump those missiles. Yeah, not enough. See what I mean? It really just... I gotta do something about that. Okay, we're gonna multi-target. Not really having much success against the Wasp, but... Can probably kill this vehicle with the autocannon. So let's fire. Oh, we got the leg. Okay, cool. At least he's going down. Should be getting a couple PPCs next turn. Sure, spread it around. Guy's a little bigger. Okay. Standing by. All right, uh... Gonna multi-target. You and you. And we'll put the laser mediums on B and the PPCs on A. Hopefully we can Hi. kill this guy. There we go. Oh, did that do it? Yep. Double kill. Nice. You sure did. They got one left. That's it. Keep moving. Guess I gotta be hitting the space bar to get these guys to move faster. Sit. Keep moving. Nice. Waiting for orders. All right, Rocky. Let's see if we can get eyes on. Roger. Ah, yeah, scimitar. Ah, not bad armor. AC five. Gotta be careful. Fire everything. Eh, not bad. Could have been worse. Commander. Position confirmed. Just gonna walk down here. Copy that. We got one hit. Waiting for orders. Hellcat, can you get to a position? Oh, you can get up here. Location I want to keep moving forward slightly so the vehicles keep coming forward, and we'll fire both on this guy. Just hit with one. Nice. Reporting. Enemy vehicle removed. The space bar is your friend. Ready for order. All right, Rhino, let's just walk it up here. Location confirmed. Okay, we got to hurry up now. Why are those other vehicles not moving? Commander. Yeah, we better hurry up. Standing by. Get your ass up here. Can't have those uh, vehicles going into the. Uh... Standing by. On it. Into the target zone there without us being up ahead. Roger, Skipper. Because they can get targeted and killed real quick. Had that happen. 
I don't know if you guys saw my very, very first series, uh, the Rogue Tech series, where the hero, Irby, came over the hill and wiped out one of the vehicles. Like, it's like, oh, enemy reinforcements. And then the next turn, the hero, Irby, walks over the hill and just wipes out the vehicle instantly. Had a Rack 5 on, a, on his shoulder. Okay. Ready for orders. Let's get up here. Got it. No shooting, just running. I like to say we'll get extremely lucky and there won't be anybody else coming, but I know better than to say something stupid like that. Here we go. Oh, he's just on the outside. Yes, Commander. Let's get up here. Okay. Going. I still want to make sure the vehicles will move ahead. Okay, getting into MRM position. Okay, nice. At least these guys are moving. So two more turns and they should be out of here. Here they come. Oh, I figure it's had to be a friggin' trebuchet. Well, it's only got one LRM-15, thank goodness. Okay, let's see what we're up against here. So we've got... A light SRM carrier, which we should probably kill as soon as possible, I think. Urban mech. AC-10. Scorpion, two SRM-6s, and almost no armor. And the trebuchet with the LRM-15 and almost no armor. Okay, so... What's up, boss? Roger. Full speed. Okay, this guy goes on 16. We still have Saint to go. If we get, let's do it this way. If we get lucky, we kill this guy, and they don't have anyone going on 16. Okay, that's that guy gone. Okay. Now we have someone going on 17. Understood. Moving fast. And I'm thinking we should take this other vehicle out. Yeah. Those uh, five SRM6s could have been really nasty. Vehicle trash. And then Rhino. Order. Let's sprint forward. I want to get you closer to the combat. The Full speed. And we're going to multi-target. I want to engage both of these guys to hopefully keep them off of the vehicles. Um... But we'll see what happens. As long as we get a few hits in. Okay, it's a nice start on the armor there. Yeah, another nice start. Okay, so their trebuchet is going to go now. Yep. Okay, perfect. I mean, it costs us money, but... Now, we want salvage out of this, too, so I'm thinking we're going to try for trebuchet parts. So, we're going to try and smoke this Irby. Fire everything. Bang! Got the wrong side, but that's fine. I'm noticing with this version of Battletech, you always seem to cross hit for some reason. So if you're more to the right, you hit to the left. If you're more to the left, you hit to the right. It's kind of weird. I can't confirm that that's actually what's happening, but that just what's, is what feeling is happening. Like almost every time I do it, it just seems like it's cross hitting for some reason. Come on, finish him up for me. Thank you. Now we can nitpick this trebuchet, I think. As long as they don't kill him. Okay, Rhino. Gonna move forward. 
And we're going to offensive push this guy. Going to try for a headshot. And... Uh, we're going to end up killing this guy because he's got such weak armor. No headshots. Waiting for orders. Okay, uh... Got it. Legs, please. Let's try and leg this guy. Solid connection on that one. Commander. Okay, what do you got left in the leg here? 42. Still got a fair bit of armor left. Gonna go for the leg, and I think what we'll do... Well, I'll fire everything, why not? If he dies, he dies. We got enough for the leg? Reporting critical hit. Did not get enough for the leg, eh? Stand and bite. Moving at full throttle. Might here though. Engaging target. Okay, he's going down. Guard One pilot hit. Okay, we could strip the legs off him. It's a possibility. Okay, these guys should be eva evac'd. Okay, two pilot hits. Panic level crit. So, I think he's got one medium laser left, doesn't he? Or is he a stick now? No, he's a stick. Cool. Yes, Commander. Um, you don't even need to move. Let's just... Uh, how much do you got left? 20? 20, 21. So, we just need one hit. Uh, let's not go with those. Let's go with these. And fire. Roger. That should do it. And he's going down and he'll be unconscious. As long as he doesn't blow up. Good. Here we go. Yes, Commander. Alright, let's just brace. Order. The fault of... I mean... The failings of the enemy trying to attack at this point. Um, they can't really do anything because they're all static there. And if they don't have the initiative, they're just done for. You got the free open shot. Like you saw, we took out two vehicles before they actually did anything. Mission successful. Alright, so that was a really successful mission. It increased by 30% our uh, payment. Which really wasn't much, but that extra 30% kind of partially covers this, so that's good. Um, and minor X XP, and light AC5 has got a crit on it, we have to fix that. I think that was from before though. I think I forgot to repair that, so I'll have to remember to do that. That wasn't from this battle. So yeah, almost no damage. We got that one leg hit from the AC20, but we're okay. Okay, so we could take all trebuchet parts. I just want to see if there's anything interesting down here. Probably not. IC engines, fusion cores. Yeah, nothing really that we want down here. Okay, so... Let's take five of these parts. We worked so hard to get it, let's take them. All right, all of trebuchet parts, urban mech and wasp part. Bunch of ACs, okay. That's 25% crit. Uh, oh, two light machine guns, that's good too. We just lost two light machine guns, so getting two back is good. Bunch of SRM6s we can sell. Okay, so not too bad at all. Okay, 9,000 repairs, it's nothing. Four days, so we're back up and running again. We'll be able to take another mission here too, I think. Um, Let's manage the tasks a little bit, see if there's anything we can improve. Not really. So let's just leave it like that. And we'll run the four days here. Actually, it's got to be six days for our pilots to be back. All right. Um, so that's that back. Um, 
Let's go into the mech bays. I forgot we should get that crab's uh, AC fixed here. So where are you? I'm surprised it isn't giving me a, a thing that says, hey man, you got a damaged weapon here. So yeah, let's just repair that. Okay, two days. Ah, yeah, well, we wasted two days. All right, no big deal. But uh, so we're going to end the episode here. If you like the episode, please drop a like and feel free to subscribe. When we come back next time, we'll pull off another mission uh, before we leave this planet. I think probably, I don't know, we might leave this planet depending on how many more missions we can do. If we have a few more good ones like that, um, we'll probably stay for a little bit. Um, but other than that, we'll jump ship. We've still got 21 days for the Yagamek to be back, and then it's probably going to be another 15 days after that once we put the arm and torso back on the damn thing. So we're going to be running with these four medium mechs as it is. Um, yeah, so until next time, we'll see you all later.